tutorial about how to paint a model horse and I absolutely 100% hate my voice on camera but oh well. So the last tutorial I did I got um, more views than I usually do so I'm going to do another one. Um, so the things that you'll need is acrylic paints or pastels. I don't have any pastels so that's why I'm doing another black horse. A towel, an old towel or like do not use newspaper whatever you do never use newspaper in any circumstances with any kind of model horse the ink will rub on to the horse's paint job and it, it's terrible i have an example as to what happened to one of my horses um, let me... um shameless he touched newspaper and i had to take his paint off and i gotta fix him so yeah, because the ink was on. It will not wash off. It has to come off with finger not wash off. And he's a body quality now. But anyways, so I'm going to be doing a part one about just painting. And then part two about detailing. You need water and paint brushes, obviously. And paint. And of course, your model horse. You need to prime the horse first. She's not really brilliantly, you know, greatly, amazingly primed. But it works. So, you have to start painting. And I don't have an editing for this, so it's not going to be fancy. It's just going to be some random chick on YouTube painting a horse. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, you're probably going to need a few coats because it's very uneven. And to prevent brush strokes, adding a little bit of water is nice. Um... You have to clean. This is what I do. You can use a paper towel for doing that, but it's an old towel, and eh, I use it for painting a lot of horses, so. Um, I've gotten a lot better at customizing, so, yeah. Also, I she has repositioned legs uh, a little bit. Not very noticeable, but they are repositioned slightly. So, just try to paint very, um, you know, long strokes, excuse me, that is my mother calling me for something, but I'm a little busy, so, oh well. <laughs> Anyways, so, one thing is, do not um, paint the tail, or the face, um, or a leg, you know, something to hold on to, you know, to lift up and paint around the model, which is good. Um, she's going to be a black morab filly. Anyways, you can look up a picture for reference, which is a really good idea. I'm not, because I'm just going to make her what I want her to be. So... Anyways, now if you want to do a horse that has a lot of shading like a chestnut or a bay, you're gonna probably need pastels, you really do, if you can't really shade anything with acrylics, make sure the paint um, dries before you put a second coat. Um, you know, what I've heard, it's better to do one large thick coat, I mean, no, it's better to do two thin coats than one large one, one thick one. Um, spray it with matte or semi-gloss or gloss, whatever finish you want. I only have gloss, so all my customs are, unfortunately, glossy. Anyways, I keep on saying that word. <laughs> So after you paint the whole body, you'll start on detailing, and goodbye for part, and my finger goes.